Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and in this video I'm going to explain how to understand results of the gel electrophoresis which you can see here and in the first line here we load a mixture of the DNA of the known size. For example in this case 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 bands we see here and when we load this mixture here we already know the sizes of all bands. So we call this reference ladder and here is going to be our sample of the unknown size but looking at this reference ladder we always can tell the size of these bands. Even if for example here is band is absent how can we tell the size of this band? We can just say that this is somewhere in between 0 0.5 and 0. So it's size of this band have to be 0 0.25 kilobases or 250 base pairs. When we run a gel we apply negative charge on one side and positive charge on the other side and our DNA which is negatively charged would run in the direction of the positive charge and uh, the bigger the molecule the smaller distance it's going to travel from the well uh, loading well and the smaller molecule then the greater distance it's going to travel. So we will find smaller molecules closer to this side and the bigger molecules we can find closer to the beginning, closer to this side. Molecules when they travel through the gel experience some friction and that means that smaller molecules would travel faster and the larger molecules the smaller distance they are going to travel. So now let's check the first question lane that shows the results for running sample one only. So here is a sample number one and we expect in a line to find two bands one kilobase size of the band would be one kilobase and another one is going to be two kilobase. So let's check these lines only one uh, band here so this is not our variant here is the three variants and we are looking for two bands so also not our variant only one band here not also our variant now let's check variant D and first we are looking for one kilobase uh, band and this is going to be this one and another one is going to be two kilobase size of the band and this is going to be this one this is exactly directly corresponds to the sample number one and no any other line has such two bands together. So this line B has two such bands but it also has the third band. So this is not our choice and our choice is going to be variant D. So let's put it here as an answer and next question a line that shows the results of running sample one and sample four together. So sample one and sample four together. Let's use different colors this time for sample four. Let's say 250 base pairs is going to be red and two kilobase. Actually we already have it here. So let's highlight it with blue color. So for how many bands we are looking here? Not for four bands but for three bands because sample one and sample four has the same size molecule so they would form one band of the same size so we are looking for three bands two kilobases one and 250 base pairs and if you take a look at the reference ladder you won't find here 250 base pairs but we know that it is even smaller than 0 0.5 kilobases or which we can say 500 bases so it's have to be somewhere here in the middle. So let's put it here. And as you see both line B and line E has three bands. But only line B has bands of sizes that we are looking for. And this is going to be one which is 250 base pairs. Another one which is going to be 1000 base pairs or one kilobase. And another one 2000 base pairs or two kilobases. So our answer for the second question is going to be variant B or line B. 
when we can get a mixture of samples. In criminology, for example, it can be due to contamination, handling by different people of the same sample, or it can come, for example, some from the victim and another from the assailant. So it can be a mixture of samples. So we have to understand. And the last question, Lane that shows the results of running sample three only. And here is the sample three. And if you think that we are looking for two bands here, actually we are looking for only one band here because 0 0.5 kilobases is the same as 500 bases. Kilo means 1000. Half of 1000 is 500. So here we have kilobases, here we have bases. So we are looking for just one band. And uh, those, both of them can be of the different fragment of the DNA molecule and sequence can be different, but because they are of the same size, they are going to form one band. First, we have to find 0 0.5 kilobase band on the reference ladder, and this is going to be this one. And we see that this is only one variant we can choose from variant C that give us only one band of the size 0 0.5 kilobases. So let's put it here. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.